Gallstones are stones that form in your gallbladder. The gallbladder is an organ under your liver that helps you metabolize and digest fatty foods. If you think of free liquid, uh, bile, bile is exactly that. It emulsifies fatty foods. So when you eat something fatty or oily, uh, then your body can digest it with uh, by emulsifying it with the bile. Then you can absorb it. Um, so the gallbladder is a store for bile. And like anything that stores chemicals, sometimes the chemicals sediment out and form stones. And that's how you get gallstones. Certain things can predispose you to the, the, the bile salts sedimenting out into stones. Um, but once you start to get that sediment forming, then you can get smaller stones and big stones. I wouldn't say you can, they're related to stress, but certainly your lifestyle can affect um, the formation of gallstones. If you change your diet, Radically, you can get gallstones. Um, if you have certain conditions that affect your blood, then you can have gallstones. Um, so a variety of things can make you more predisposed to them. But for the for the majority of patients, they just have them uh, with living life. They just sediment out and form in the gallbladder. Many patients with gallstones actually are asymptomatic. And the gallstones are what I call innocent bystanders. So they get an ultrasound scan and that says you've got gallstones, but they're actually asymptomatic. However, gallstones, which are symptomatic, classically give you pain under your right ribs, uh, under the, uh, below the liver, after meals, particularly fatty foods. Those are the classic kind of gallstone symptoms. If the gallstones fall out of the gallbladder into the bile ducts, they can then cause a other symptoms such as infection in the bile ducts, uh, pancreatitis, which can be different symptoms. But the main classical gallstone symptoms are pain under your ribs on the right side after you've had a fatty meal. Gallstones require treatment once they become symptomatic, particularly if they give you um, symptoms such as pancreatitis, uh, which is the pancreas being inflamed due to gallstones. If they give you cholangitis, which is that the, the bile ducts get inflamed or infected due to gallstones, or if they block the bile ducts and cause jaundice. And cause, um, so those symptoms in particular mean that the gallstones have to be removed. However, if you have biliary colic, which is the pain from the gallbladder with the gallstones on a regular basis, and, uh, and you're young and fit and healthy, then it's also reasonable to remove the gallbladder because gallstones that tend to cause you symptoms often then go on to cause complications. The simplest and most effective treatment for gallstones to remove the gallbladder, that is a, an operation called a, a cholecystectomy. We perform that by keyhole, so it's a laparoscopic cholecystectomy, and that removes the gallbladder and takes away the stones within the gallbladder, and that's very effective.